All right, hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nathan. Welcome back to another video. Now today I'm gonna to be showing you guys the jewelry that I personally wear on a day-to-day -day basis, as well as just jewelry essentials that I believe you guys all need in your wardrobe. To me, jewelry is one of the easiest ways to start accessorizing with an outfit. It's pretty cheap, you can find tons of really awesome pieces for really low prices all over the internet, making it something that's super easy to start experimenting with without much of an investment up front. Jewelry is also one of the more subtle ways to accessorize, it's something that doesn't stand out too much and you can wear a few necklaces and a bracelet or two without looking like you're trying too hard or doing too much. So that leads me into the first item today that I wear every single day without a doubt, which would be a classic silver chain with a pendant. Now I decide to wear this silver linked chain here. I don't know what the exact link is called, but I'll try to find a similar one and link it in the description. It's been a 925 silver. It's about 14 inches, I believe. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong on the screen. And I pair it with a Chrome Hearts dagger pendant. Hopefully you guys can see that there. I'm sure you guys know Chrome Hearts is very expensive and I know this is a lot to spend on just a little pendant, but the reason I can justify it is because it's something that I wear every single day. Now, my dad actually got this for me as a gift when he went to Hawaii, he bought it at the Chrome Hearts store there. And this was right when I was getting into Chrome Hearts and the dagger and the cross are one of their most iconic pieces. So he was deciding between the two of those, went with the dagger and I love it. It's something simple and I wear it with every single outfit. So moving on to the second type of necklace, which is something that I like to wear almost every day now too as well, which would be a dog tag. Now personally, I don't have an actual traditional dog tag. I ordered one today on Amazon and I'm just waiting for it to come in. But here I have more of a plastic one with a rope string. Now this one just has a little skull on it. Got this in Hawaii when I was a little kid and I like to wear this basically every single day. Um, since it's summer, it gives you more of a chill, kind of relaxed, effortless look. I like this just because it hangs down a lot longer. You can really see it uh, on a shirt or something. It really adds a lot more to an outfit rather than just a little choker. So if you guys don't have a dog tag, I'll link a few really good ones on Amazon in the description. And this is something if you're going to buy anything from this list, at least buy one dog tag because you would be really surprised how much it can change just a simple shirt, shorts, and like a pair of Vans old schools or some sandals. Add a dog tag and maybe a hat and the look is completely different. So dog tag would definitely be my number two item. On to item number three, something I don't wear as much, but I definitely still put it on once in a while, which would be a classic black beaded necklace. Now I got this in Hawaii, I think as well, when I was a little kid, and I just started wearing this now. This one's a uh, pretty short length. It's almost like a choker. And if I do wear this, I just wear this with my silver chrome hearts chain underneath. I think this paired with the silver chain just helps uh, add a little bit more something to your look. Now it's not crazy and it won't make as much as an impact as say a dog tag would, would, but if you're going somewhere swimming, you don't want it flying off. This is definitely a summer essential when it comes to jewelry. Now I'll try to link one in the description. It might be kind of hard to find one, but I'm pretty sure you can find a variety pack of these for like 10 bucks at H&M. I think they come with bracelets too. So definitely check out your H&Ms, but that's number three, something I don't wear as much, but it's still an essential. I think you guys should have just in case. Now moving on to the next category, which would be bracelets. For me, I usually wear about two bracelets, one on each hand. Now the first one I wear, I actually have a little charm that goes with this, but it's just a kind of gothic linked bracelet. I got this from Thomas Sabo at my mall. I'll link there to your website in the description, but you guys might just have one in your mall. I don't know if they're just Canadian, but I buy a lot of jewelry from there. Now this usually has a skull pendant that hangs down from it, but I don't know where that is right now, but this is just a simple kind of linked bracelet that I usually wear every single day as well. Now for the other hand, something very similar, it's more of a Pandora style bracelet if you guys know what that is. Um, it's just a kind of rope, rope chain with a skull that slides down the middle. Now this is something also that I like to just wear every single day. It's low key, it doesn't show off too much, but once again, all these little pieces together, I find they just add a little bit more texture to your outfit and it just shows that you got something a little bit more going on. These bracelets are actually like $100 each, but if you have the money, I would definitely say go for it just because I find myself wearing them every day and I think it's pretty well worth it. Now moving on to the third type of bracelet, something a little bit more childish, it is a 
friendship bracelet. Now this one in particular says my name on it and I actually made this. I got put onto these by Jacob Wallace and they're just honestly a really playful look. It's really nostalgic. Uh, I really only wear this in the summer when I'm going somewhere really casual, but I definitely think it looks really cool. I know Burberry actually made one that just says Burberry, which is kind of funny, but if you guys just want to do something for the day, I don't know, go to the dollar store and I'll show you guys what I have on mine. Mine just says my name. But these are something really cool, they're stretchy, they're fun, and they honestly, they add a little bit of color to your outfit, which isn't bad at all. Moving on to the third bracelet that I don't really wear that much, but it would be a wooden ball necklace, or bracelet. Now, I don't really wear this just because it's a little too big for my wrist size, but it definitely gives you that surfer, kind of Caribbean, just tropical look. Now, if you guys do like that, you can find these all over the place. I'm sure you guys probably have some laying around your house from a vacation you guys went to, but it is something that I don't wear a lot. Maybe a pearled one would look a little bit better, but that's something to just think about. I don't really wear it, but it's pretty cool. Now moving on to rings. Rings for me is something that I don't really wear that often. It's just not really my thing. But I do have one ring here. It actually got really warped, but I'll try to show you guys it there. It's made of 925 silver. It was like 15 bucks on Amazon. Now this ring is just a really simple ring that if I'll throw it on if I see it there. It has star cutouts and it's kind of thin. I accidentally stepped on it, which warped it. But aside from that, this is kind of the farthest I would go with rings. Maybe wear one on each hand if you like that. But I think just one on your ring finger, like that, is basically all you need if you do want to start wearing rings. I know a lot of people like to really get into the gothic kind of rings, but that's not really my thing. But if you guys like that, definitely go for it. Finally, if you guys have your ears pierced, which I do personally, I used to have three earrings, but now I just have the two, one on each ear. I don't really like studs, but I would just wear a diamond hoop. I don't really like to go with the traditional diamond studs just because I don't think they work on my skin color, but they do look really cool if you just want to wear diamond studs on some people. That is a classic essential you could wear every day. For me, I just wear these diamond hoops. I did have a pair of silver hoops that I used to wear for a bit, but they did look a little too skinny. You could almost see the hole in your ear when you put them in. So I got these from Thomas Sabo. They're about $200, I believe, which is a little bit pricey, but they are really high quality earrings. And uh, they're almost guaranteed not to fall out. The clip on them is really great. So I'll try to find a link to these if you like them, or I'll find a cheaper alternative, because $200 is a lot. So that's basically it for the jewelry that I wear every single day. I think that you guys should definitely at least pick up one item from this video because you'd be really surprised how much these can kind of change the whole dynamic of your outfit. Now these little accessories here and there, they really do make a big impact. For me, my personal advice would to be don't go over the top. I find it's really easy to start layering up accessories, which can look really cool. I've seen Sanjeev do it, I'll try to show some pictures of what he likes to do. But to me personally, I like a little bit more of a simplistic take. My advice, don't go too crazy. Find some stuff that works with you and try to stick with those for everyday wear. But definitely have some little bit more crazy pieces that you guys can bust out once in a while. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to start posting a lot more. My name is Nathan and see you guys later. Yeah, I should have never ever took her home. Yeah, I should have just blown. Yeah, fantasy on my phone. Yeah, hit it from the back, watch a nigga bless you. Yeah, crying in my